All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakodash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and well, who taught us this truth. Shalom to the elect, pushing this truth in all sincerity in the four quarters of the earth. Lord willing, we'll be of that number. I'm your brother, Yakona. Yaikwa, Tazawan. And we're here uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, just settling in on this aftermath of the election, pretty much, you know, focusing in on, you know, that peace and safety spirit because brothers been putting in the chat, uh, you know, uh, these nations across the earth, you know, they're familiar with this guy Trump, which we believe through, through the spirit is uh, Nero in the reincarnation coming back. And um, it seems as though these nations are just piping down, you know, as far as their aggression, as far as their uh, uh, just uh, busybodiness, if you, if we could say, you know, there's been a lot of posts as far as that as far as that is concerned. You know, these nations are just kind of like, oh, oh, Trump is in, he's coming, Trump is coming. You know, you should say Nero, Nero's coming. You know, hey, everybody get in line. Everybody, everything, peace, peace, everybody, peace. But what do the scriptures say? Uh, I'm going to open up with this. If and, I can. and Nero was a conqueror too. Mm -hmm. You know, when you go back to the to the history, it, it was Nero was in the seat of, uh, in the power seat when, with the expeditions in, into Britannia, when the Romans, the Romans, um, it was like, a, I was talking to brothers about it, like a 10,000 Roman um, um, army against like 300,000 Brits and the, and the Romans defeat them, you know? So, but guess what? That's peace and safety. That's, that's not gonna happen for America because guess what? Yeah, you gonna, this book of Malachi said, yeah, they gonna build back the desolate places, but the, the scripture says the Lord is going to throw them down. All right, everything has a season and has a time. Go ahead, bro. This is First Thessalonians chapter 5. <clears throat> and it reads, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. You know, nobody knows the time when Yahweh Shai going to come back. He's going to be that thief in the night. You know, it could, it, it could possibly be a couple of years from now. Who knows? Nobody knows the times, but we measure the times diligently. We see, uh, you know, these plagues popping up in the earth. We see these nations, uh, nation against nation, coming uh, on the scene, mm. okay? And that's how we measure the time. So we know it's near, all right? It says, uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 3, and this is the point. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Right, they're not going to escape from the plagues of the Heavenly Father. You know, people, you know, they believe themselves to be in a good case because of whatever circumstance, whatever dainty that they've been acquired, you know, low prices on this and uh, this, my, my man has been elected in or, you know, or we won this battle. The Germans won a lot of battles, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Napoleon won a lot of battles. A battle isn't a war. And America's not going to win this third world war. That's right. You know, Esau, Edom is not going to win this third world war. Okay. Whether they be the Americans, the Europeans, the Russians, the Turks, all of them have agendas in the enterprise they're trying to fulfill, but none will avail. All right, 
And those who follow with them, those who trust in the staff of Egypt, shall fall and be pierced through with them. Mm -hmm. All right? So this is Second Ezra's, the 16th chapter, in the 21st verse. Behold, victual shall be so good cheap upon earth. Your gas prices, your food, your different commodities, they're very cheap on the planet right now. All right? Your people are able to, even though you have inflation and things are not as easy as they were in, say, 2005, right? 2015, right? But it's still not to the extent that it's about to be very soon and very shortly. It's about to be a lot worse, man. A lot worse. Okay? You have the CBDC. You have the BRICS. It's a lot. You have Agenda 2025. 20, you have Agenda 2030. It's a lot in the pot right now, man. All right, you have Neuralink. You have the American dollar is no longer backing um, OPEC or backing oil. All right, we haven't even seen the repercussions of that. You know? Mm -hmm. You know, America is not the top is not the top currency anymore. It doesn't have the most value compared to other currencies on the planet Earth, even right now. All right? And ultimately, this karagma is about to be established. But let me finish the scripture. It says, Behold, victuals should be so good cheap upon Earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon Earth. Sword, which is warfare, Famine said famine is going to grow on the earth mm. and great confusion. Mm. People are going to be very confused. People are not going to know what is going on. Mm -hmm. Their leaderships are not, their leadership is not going to have answers. The heads of their states are not going to have answers. Who are going to have the answers? The prophets of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. That's why a lot of us are going to be, or some of us are going to be brought before kings. For a testimony against them. Why? Because the kings are going to inquire about this testimony we've been bearing. The leaders of the earth. Remember, Paul was brought before Nero. All right. We're living in a very serious time. And so it will behoove us to be in the proper spirit. Was that Nero? He was they, they brought him in front of well, Nero, yeah, well, Nero is the one who authorized the beheading of Paul. Oh. Yeah, Nero authorized the, the beheading of Paul, and of course Caligula succeeded um, Nero, um, but uh, yeah, Nero, Nero authorized the beheading of Paul, you know, and this guy, Trump is talking about guillotines, mm -hmm. all right, he's talking about all this other madness. Because he's neuro. Yeah. You know, you can jump in whenever you want, bro. Um, verse 22 it says, For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. They go famine being thrown in there again. It says, And the other, and when you hear, when you read this, it's like, oh, okay, we just read it. No, it said, Many of them that dwell on the earth shall perish of famine. Big deal. Yeah. You have to see it for what it is. Mm -hmm. That means a lot of people Because with the supply chain The food supply chain Is going to be cut off There's going to be inflation Which inflation is the least of your concern You're going to actually have food Which that's a big concern But you're going to have people you got these large cities People, It's not going to be food in the cities They're not going to be able to get food From these other countries The supply chain is going to be cut off the 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 free f free flow of commerce is going to be cut off. That's going to corrupt people's ability to receive commodities such as food. All right. Mm -hmm. So um, it says, and you got it after this. It says, and the other that escaped the hunger shall the sword destroy. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, because uh, under the new well, where just. Politics and in, in life going in general is um 
in order to bring this new digital system, there's going to have to be draconian rules. It's going to have to be enforcement. Like, these people ain't playing. And they're going to enforce this by any means necessary, which is going to be great sword. Um, that's what the, the, the artificial intelligence is being introduced for. That's going to be a the new policing of the people. You got, you know, policemen leaving, and everywhere you go, you, you're starting to see more and more RoboCop type shit. You're starting to see police. Uh, ro- uh, even here in Georgia, Marietta, they, they're introducing police, uh, a ro- robotic police. Um so yeah, we're gonna be getting a great sword, and you just spoke about Nero, uh, you know, being the head, the chief, uh, commander in charge, or the president of that day during the time of uh, Apostle Paul, which he was what he was he was notoriously known um, throughout history as leading the, uh, the 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 you know the Christian persecution, that whole campaign which we know that that campaign is going to come back around now because even uh, Trump said it in, when he was last time in office, he, he addressed the prophets of doom. He talked about these prophets of doom. So, you know, just like you're saying, great sword and all of that is, is happening. In great confusion. This whole political climate is a bunch of confusion, a bunch of... You know, even I was watching video clips of uh, Trump and uh, some of these, you know, RFK, and they were saying one thing uh, a few years ago. And now they're saying something else. You know, it's just a bunch of confusion. But so, like, I meant, it, I meant to say Galba. I said Caligula uh, succeeded Nero. Mm-hmm. I meant to say Galba. Galba. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, so yeah, same thing. You know, um, anything else? I don't know. I got a scripture real quick. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ecclesiastes, I bring it out a lot. Seven in verse seven, very, very simple. And it's brought out, you know, this is like foundational scripture right here. It says, surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. And who's who's wise right now is the elect Mm -hmm. that have the eyes out to see. You know, um, if you're not angry with the, the way you, the way this place, America, Babylon the Great, uh, uh, you know, uh, basically has you in shackles and in slavery, um, um, then then you, you're just blind, you know, really, and, you know, you're, you're blind. Um, and like, as the brother said, you, you're going to be thrust through uh, attaching yourself to this, uh, to this uh, Egyptian uh, uh, pharaoh, man. It says, and a gift destroyed the heart, man. Mm. So like the gift, talking about everybody in their in their comfort, everybody in their uh, <clears throat> in their uh, you know just receiving the gifts of this place, America, Babylon the Great, you know just absorbing the uh, the the victuals the, the benefits it's a lot of benefits being here and being a citizen here mm-hmm. if, if, if can I add to you yeah it's just a lot of benefits uh which are all at the end of the day stumbling blocks because you know like a lot of people who come here or even especially us you know growing up a lot of our people get on these 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 benefits and they don't ever come off they just right. until they get kicked off right so mm-hmm. and then you know uh they might say well oh, Trump gonna get rid of this welfare and get rid of this and get rid of that yeah. Yeah, it's possible, but ultimately they're gonna come with something else because look at the economy. Karagma, bro. A lot of people are hurting right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And either this thing is gonna pick back up, which we know it's not, because AI and and what it's done is already irreversible at this point. And we know mm-hmm. they ain't gonna reverse it because they continuously closing down the business. The business yeah. is continuously filing bankruptcy, yep. closing. Hundreds of stores closing, so we know that they're they're about to move forward. Like the brother just said, the Karagma, which is what brings in Elon Musk and the likes, because there's gonna be multiple companies bringing out this technology and, like, just like how you always have multiple companies selling and doing the same service and selling the same product. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just to add to you, it's a funneling. It's a funneling of the people. You know, this is this is why everywhere you look, it's a it's a cut off of this, a cut off of that. You know, all the things, even when you go to the store, there's certain products that used to be there. They're not there anymore. You know, mm-hmm. like they just, 
uh, you know, the bigger fish that ate it, and and that that little mom and pop business that supplied that that product has gone out of business. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's just uh, you know, it's it's all. You know, all these people, all these corporations are absorbing uh, the smaller corporations, thus funneling the people to one location. Mm -hmm. And then once you step in line, if you want to have access to any of that, uh, any of those those products, any of those gifts mm -hmm. that are that are behind that, you know, mm -hmm. we'll use Wal Walmart or Wally World, for example. You know, they eat up all the fucking competition. If you want to have any access to any of the food or any of the benefits, any of the gifts behind that door, you got to you got to give up something, man. You got to And he calls of mm -hmm. all, mm -hmm. yeah. both small and all great, and great. Mm -hmm. rich and poor, free and bond. Yep. And what you give up is your soul. That's right. Yeah. Uh, uh, to receive okay. a mark, you receive something but you give up something at the same time. Mm -hmm. To receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. What is that mark? That mark is speaking of a scratching. That's literally what the word means in the Greek. Charagma. What is a, what scratching? What you think? <clears throat> that no man may buy or sell save he have the mark. What do you think it is? Do you think it's, it's sin in all of its forms? How does that... What is That don't make no sense. It says it's a scratching. A sculptured figure too. A sculptured figure. Statue. Mm -hmm. So that's right. It's guys, physical. It's it's obvious. Uh, so you, of course, a scratch is physical, right? Mm -hmm. What you uh, just the 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 mark is no, bro. A scratch is physical. It ain't no. It don't get no more physical than a scratch. Yeah. A scratching. Anyway, these these guys, we can't force you to believe. Right. But. It is what it is. It, yeah, it you had it had to be a certain person. You had to be that person. Yeah, they had to be that person. Um, this is First Corinthians, the seventh chapter, and the thirty-first verse. And they that use this world as not abusing it, don't abuse this world, and they end up abusing yourself. If you abuse this world, you abuse yourself. Yeah. You play with fire, you get burnt. You know. Yeah, you know, you think I'm a, I'm a, well, no, you gonna burn yourself. Yeah, that's that gift destroying the heart, man. Yeah, you, eat, you keep eating and eating, and you gonna get, end up getting destroyed. Your heart's gonna be destroyed. Your soul gonna get, your heart, your mind, your soul gonna be destroyed. You well, the scripture said, "False balance is the abomination unto the Lord, and the just weight is the delight." You gotta know when to refrain. You gotta know when to stop. Mm -hmm. You gotta know when to say no. You have to have borders, boundaries, limits. Temperance. Yeah, mm -hmm. self-control. Right. So it says, for the fashion of this world passes away. Mm -hmm. Meaning the fashion going in the scheme in the Greek, which means manner of life. Yeah. The manner of your nine to five job. The manner of you give money in this way. The manner of the charagma. All of that's going to pass away. So don't, it's not the end all be all. So, so you have to have foresight and be a visionary of what is to come afterwards, which is the kingdom and all of Yahweh Shah's righteousness. Go ahead, bro. Michael 2 and verse 10. Yeah, we can wrap it up after that, or if you had another one. No. Okay, go ahead. It's the book of Micah, chapter 2 and verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, uh, even with a sore destruction. Uh, you got it, bro. You know, uh, we got we got to damn near prepare our minds to be, uh, as the scriptures say, we would be pilgrims on the earth. You know, we we got to have our minds in that in that mindset uh, right now. You know, because you never know what the 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 spirit of this devil. You know, you got. Uh, uh, Trump in there, you know, it goes, I think he goes back to what, uh, um, uh, uh, Timon. He might be a Timonite. But uh, those are the Germans. And the Germans, their warfare was what? Lightning warfare. It was, uh, um, uh, which goes to uh, uh, basically striking quick.
quickly. So whenever this guy gets in the office or maybe even before he gets in the yeah, office. Yeah, they were German immigrants. Right. Fred. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's, that's, that's their, that's, you know, Esau is a hasty individual. So he's not going to be just sitting back chilling. He's going to strike first, man. He's going he's gonna to draw first blood, man. You know, and he's gonna catch people why they ain't, why they least expect it. That's the type of warfare that you're dealing with when you're dealing with this Temanite, you know, Edomite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you know, and then he gonna he gonna come at you real quick, like that's what they're known for. That's what they're known for to catch your ass off of guard, off guard to be draw blood first to get on your ass, man. And it's going to be a lot of people, you know, with the karate, I mean, with the with the juice. Caught a lot of people off guard real quick, like, man, they didn't know what to do. Uh, uh, and this karagma is going to catch people off guard. They, like our apostle, uh, elder Apostle Tahar said, people going to be, you know, the, 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 the Israelite groups, they're going to be bumbling and fumbling, man, trying to figure out what the hell to do. Oh, shit. Damn, GMS was right. Oh, sh goddamn. You know, what do we do? Look into they look into their leaders, and their leaders is is gonna lead them into a ditch, as the scriptures say. Mm-hmm. You know, just like that 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 damn juice. Yeah, and and uh, the savior, the you know, they 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 uh lifting uh, up the Donald to be like a savior or whatnot. Mm -hmm. He the one that came with Operation War Speed to get it out in record time. <laughs> Six months, the thing was ready to go. Six yeah. months. Six. You know what I'm saying? That's this is this is y'all king. This is y'all savior. That's it. He's really being set up to be a, a savior right now. Yeah. So you know, like we was <laughs> mentioning the topic, you oh, know, peace right. and safety. And uh, you mentioned that Ecclesiastes, and I was just thinking, man, how uh, a gift destroyed the heart. Mm -hmm. What what they the gift that they come with is peace and safety. You know, he's gonna be the solution to end all the wars and make it great. Make it great. Get it, turn everything back around because it was uh, so bad. You know, do not be fooled, man. So. Like, nigga, you just, you had four years already. What the fuck did you do? Don't bring me no damn loans and none, none, all that bullshit. Your ass didn't build no goddamn wall. All y'all crackers talking. Nah, I'm on y'all crackers now, but y'all some hypocrites. <laughs> Y'all talking about build a wall. That nigga ain't build a damn wall. If Trump built a wall, we wouldn't even have this problem. Mm. How you have four years... In the office, you didn't even build no wall. You said Mexico was going to pay for it. You fucking liar. Ain't nobody paid for no goddamn wall. You could have built that damn wall. You could. You know how many jobs he could have provided? Mm. It's like Hitler did for the Autobahn. He provided an abundance of jobs for the German people by building the infrastructure of the Autobahn. Trump didn't build no goddamn wall. He's just full of shit. But he did give money to fucking the small hats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he gave them the money that he used to give to the small hats. He could have used towards the infrastructure of a wall, if not a wall towards the entirety of the border, a large portion of the key points of the border. Yeah. So I just we just gotta call out the hypocrisy because they full of shit, man. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, real quick, Revelation twelve and twelve. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath them but a short time. Yeah, this, uh, you know, four years, you know, uh, it, it seems like a long time. But this, you know, my point, Trump looked back on those four years, and in, in his mind, he ain't, I don't think he's trying to come up out of office. Once he gets in there, he, I don't think he's going to try to, you know, if, if we go that long, I don't think he's trying to come up out of that office, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to be a big, it's going to be real big division in this earth. And that's why we had that, that movie to kind of set the stage for it. Uh, uh, um, um, damn, the movie where, uh, Civil War? Yeah, Civil War. Civil War. <laughs> Civil War. <laughs> the water, brother. Civil War. It might be sedition to get him out of the office, but remember, Neuro yeah. Galba uh, usurped authority over Nero 
And the people, Nuru at one time was loved by the people. It came a point where Nuru was not loved. He yeah. began to be hated by the people. And that's why he did a distraction, a psyop distraction, to put the attention on the Hebrew, on the Christians. And he burnt down Rome and he blamed it on the Israelites. Why? Because that's the type of piece of shit he is. You know? And that's why you killed yourself. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Sorry. He, you know, because he, he, he pieces of shit. You know, and, and I think in the one of them Simpson episodes they had Trump uh be be killed. He was assassinated, or he died, or something like that. He, and he was in he was in political office or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Which ultimately, the, it's like the elites they pull the strings of all this shit, man. Yeah, the, the elite bankers, man. So Trump is basically you know like the the apostles yeah. say he's scared. He's, he's a he's a manager at McDonald's, man. He ain't he ain't no real deal power figure. He's, he's like the Senate. Pope. Yeah. The Senate is the ones who run, who really hold the power. They allow the they allow the Caesar to be a figurehead, mm-hmm. you know. But the Senate, the Senate, you know, when I'm when I talk about the Senate, I'm talking about like the ancient Roman Senate, mm-hmm. the modern Senate. Them niggas don't hold no damn power. That the Senate that we have now is nowhere as near as powerful as the Roman Senate. Yeah. Those were the like the bankers of of now. You know, they, they gave loans to different kings, you know, and called the loans back just like the bankers do now in the time that they want to call it back to to make them bankrupt, you talking know? About, talking about the two horns. Right, yeah. So, like, the, the, the which really we're going now, we're talking about the elite banking families. Mm-hmm. That's, the, that's the modern senate of ancient Rome, all right? Because they're the one who controlled the Caesar. All right, they're the one who pull the plugs. All right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyway, yeah, go ahead, bro. Uh, just ultimately to set up to control the people, you know. And I just had this, this uh, Luke 12 and 51. Suppose ye that I come, that I am come to give peace on earth. I tell you nay, but rather division. Division, bro. So the Lord is coming to set a man at, and not with his neighbor. All right. Look, America is divided. Abraham Lincoln said, uh, "Kingdom divided," which really he got that from Yahweh Shah. Everybody, all right, Lincoln, nigga, no, Yahweh Shah said that. All right, a kingdom divided cannot stand. If Satan be divided mm-hmm. against Satan, how can his kingdom stand? Right. He got that from Yahweh Shah. These people try to hype up Lincoln, but point being, this society is is divided. You got the you got the real nasty weird oh, let me stop before they get mad but you got the the left on one, on one side and you got the right on another side all right and one of them they want to do weird stuff and 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 pee and cat litter and talk about their cats and then you got the right that want to keep america the way america used to be in the in the 50s yeah they want to go back they want to go back or they just want to survive because they know mm-hmm. the, some a lot of these people they're stupid, but they're not that stupid. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so they know they like look, man. Biden bugging Kamala, she's incompetent as all hell. The left is completely bugged out, so they like you know what? I don't want my sons peeing in cat litter. Reset, talking, yeah. So they're going with the right, but see that's that's all set up through the spirit, you know. That's all set up through the spirit. Ultimately, these people are about to go to war. And the right is going to beat the fucking left ass. But guess what? The right is going to have to fight against the U.S. military, which is going to hurt them big time because the U.S. military is powerful. All right? And the U.S. military, you got to fight against everybody on the planet. Yeah. <laughs> because all the nations, you got to fight against Russia. You got to fight against China. You got to fight against North Korea. You got to fight against Iran. You got to fight against Pakistan. You got to fight against India. All right? You have to fight against Afghanistan. You you have to fight against Turkmenistan. You have to fight against Turkey. You gonna you want yo? You're not gonna win this. You're not gonna win this. This is not a battle that you can win. You know we got nukes. Well, they got nukes. You, you want to elevate it to that? Well, we're gonna bring Revelation the 18th to pass then. Anyway. We're going to wrap it up on that. Giving all praises, honor, glory, and worship unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechakodash. Double honors once again to the apostles and elders of great mercy on site. Taste to you. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.